It was important for us to certify our pharmaceutical operations because we believe in IATA CIV Pharma. And as a member of the supply chain, we feel that it's the responsibility of all of our stakeholders to play an active role and to contribute in maintaining the standard for patient safety. So in that sense, we play a role in the industry and it's also our responsibility then to become certified as well. It's important for some kind of uh, a certification to be there and I think um, to certify your operations makes it easier for a pharmaceutical company to choose uh, a particular carrier um, to employ for their services. For us it was uh, important uh, to standardize and to align the procedures of the different stakeholders uh, throughout that whole supply chain in order to offer a fully transparent and controlled uh, handling of the pharmaceutical shipments. But what was important to readdress traffic, to give the reliability, the right reliability and certainty to the market was to have the right uh, procedures, but moreover validated procedures and facilities. We chose the standard program with IATA because it is recognized in the industry as being the standard. IATA plays a neutral role and so when we are audited, for example, by our customers, um, when we go and audit our partners and supply chain partners, we then also need that neutrality that IATA offers. Uh, CIV is, uh, is something that is made for the airlines by the airlines and to have an independent auditor come in and certify that essentially what you're promising you can also fulfill, I think is a, is a great way forward. Well, we did see a, uh, a big increase in quality uh, because of the fact that companies started understanding each other's processes. They were able to reduce errors and to, to better align the different processes. And we have seen uh, a reduction of about 65% uh, in, um, in error rate. Yeah? So 65% uh, less irregularities when delivering shipments to, uh, to the handling agents meaning that there's less uh, room for error, less room for potential uh, temperature excursions. So it, it really had a big uh, positive impact. So we have seen a definitely a progression over the past few years in the infrastructure that airports and ground handlers, the airlines have invested, as well as in the procedures that have been implemented and the people that have been trained. So all of that has certainly contributed to improving the standard services that we're offering. If you really change the mindset in your company, if you rewrite your quality management system according to what we learned from IATA and what we have done and we are still doing together with IATA, for sure you reduce the number of missing. With this kind of program, with this kind of approach, with this uh, standardized approach, to the way of uh, transportation or handling and transportation of pharmaceutical, for sure you increase uh, your, uh, your volumes. For us, the pharmaceutical industry is one of the five key industries that we address. We have over 100 stations that we certify internally to handle pharmaceutical shipments. So as such, DHL definitely sees this as a key industry that we address. Uh, and what we have seen happening is that um, Pharmace uh, forwarders uh, focusing on pharmaceutical shipments uh, started consolidating a lot of their European volumes into Brussels, resulting in a 35% uh, increase uh, year on year or, uh, in, in the last two years. So uh, a, a very positive effect compared to the much lower average growth in the market. And having the CIV obviously builds trust that we can that we can deliver what we're promising. Pharmaceutical manufacturers have definitely gained a better understanding of what to expect from the supply chain, and IATA has greatly contributed to that. So in that sense, when we get audits or visits from pharmaceutical customers, we can refer to common standards. Uh, so it it has transparency for them. Uh, resulting in a bigger confidence in, in the cool chain through the airport. So the feedback we get from the shippers is that uh, the risk profile of, of Brussels airport as a, as a gateway has come down and um, as a result they, they tend to, uh, to use Brussels as a preferred gateway now. It helped us um, contribute to our internal level of standard processes that we have and to drive into maybe some areas such as risk where we feel that we could still do more. 
It's also allowed us to work better with our partners. So with, for example, the airline partners now, I feel like we're speaking the same language. Yeah, I think it was a good experience. It, it, it went through very easily, also internally. Sometimes it's difficult in a large organization to get everybody on board and, and support this process. But I think the IATA um, being involved in this, uh, in this entire certification process helped a lot for us to, uh, to get it uh, properly done and done quickly. They helped us in our uh, in all the process and considered that we spent something like eight, ninth month working on this project. And at the end we became friends. Okay, so they helped really a lot. It offers a global standard um, as opposed to uh, the, the other commercial uh, certification options you have as companies which are more, more locally focused. So uh, that's definitely, definitely one of the big uh, uh, unique selling propositions that the program can, can bring. Because yes, we do feel it brings a lot of additional benefit. I think if the industry can all stand up and adhere to those similar standards, we've definitely taken a big step forward in making sure that we ultimately contribute to transporting products and ensuring patient safety. So I'm a very big fan and I think it's something that we definitely need to continuously promote in the industry. We need to speak the same language.